Hi everyone, welcome back to The Soulful Cook, where I share with you some of my favorite vegan recipes. Today we're gonna be making an American all-time favorite, creamy mac and cheese. Now I did make this recipe with soaked cashews, but if you wanna make this a nut-free recipe, then you can easily substitute the cashews with 12 ounces of silken tofu. If you prefer the written version of this recipe, head over to my blog at thesoulfulcook.com. You can also find it in the description box below. All the products I used in this video are linked down below, and just remember, anytime you do purchase from those links, you are supporting this channel in a huge way, which will only help us share even more content with you. Now before we head into the recipe, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you subscribe. All right, let's start cooking. Here's everything you're gonna need to get started. First thing you wanna do is cook your pasta according to the instructions on the package. In a frying pan, we're going to add our chopped onion. And then we're just going to saute that for about a minute or so. And then we're going to go in and add in our chopped garlic. And then we're just going to saute that until the onions become translucent. Once that's done, we're gonna set that aside. In a high speed blender, like a Vitamix, we're gonna add our 12 ounces of either soaked cashews or silken tofu. We're gonna add in our sauteed onions and garlic. Then I'm gonna add half a cup of nutritional yeast, one fourth teaspoon of turmeric, salt to taste, juice of one lemon and one cup of water and then you want to blend that until everything is nice and smooth that's why i like using my vitamix it's a really powerful blender so it does the job pretty well and pretty fast So now I'm taking my cooked pasta and I'm just pouring the sauce directly over it. You want to make sure you scrape everything out of the blender as well so nothing goes to waste. And then we're just going to give that a mix and you can see how creamy this sauce is. And you can add anything in here. You can add peas, you can add broccoli, you can add any veggies of your choice. I just topped mine off with some steamed broccoli. And there you have it, an easy and delicious recipe for creamy mac and cheese. If you're looking for more recipes like this one, head over to my blog at thesoulfulcook.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you do get notified every time I post a new video. If you ended up making this recipe or any others, don't forget to tag at the Soulful Cook. I'd love to see how it turned out. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.